the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Another day at the beach. It's uh, cloudy, but still warm, but not extremely warm. And I ran again. I ran five miles, two and a half in the surf, and two and a half back home in the sand. And it's always good to just be able to do something physical, try to pray, try to think about things a bit. In the morning, I got up early when it was still dark to go to the beach at about just before first light. But it really kind of didn't matter that it was before first light because there were trucks on the beach and they were picking up trash and some guy was doing something I couldn't figure out what. And there was a front loader that was moving sand. It was just so loud and they had bright, bright lights on, including blue flashing lights. And the funny thing is, anybody who knows me knows that I pretty much hate sounds. And I even brought ear protection so that I could be at the beach and not hear the waves as much when I was praying. But I, the waves didn't bother me. It was the sound that just, the, the, the light that absolutely made me crazy. And I was, that's a metaphor. So I went there for a pristine, beautiful, spiritual experience, seeing the sun coming up slowly and praying the Jesus prayer and doing psalms with prostrations. And the light just absolutely bothered me. So all I could get out of myself was to say the Jesus prayer on my knees as I like to do for a little while. And then after a little while, my wife arrived and we sat and waited for the sunrise and never actually saw the sunrise until it was well up in the sky because it's so cloudy. So sometimes things are not exactly as you intend them to be, but you have to push through it, don't you? And if you don't push through it, well, then you don't make it through. So it was a good experience even though it wasn't the experience I wanted. I love to be out when it's completely dark and you just hear the waves and it's so dark that you can't even see the sea really. And you're waiting for the sun to come up and it reminds me a lot, reminds me I think of my son Daniel when this happens because of course I'm not going to see him for, well it might be a long time as long as I live at least and it's like waiting for the Sun to come up and he once heard from Sophie that she wanted to be what she wanted to be when she grew up she said I want to be orange like a sunset well sunsets have orange but also sunrises have orange often a little more reddish orange and so I think of Daniel when I see that orange and I saw some orange but I also saw a lot of lights from cars and everything. So what are we going to do? We're just going to push through, aren't we? We're just going to struggle and we're going to pray. And sometimes, sometimes we pray with good attention and sometimes we're distracted or even agitated. The key is to do it no matter what. That's the key. Because praying with distraction is better than being distracted without prayer, isn't it? I think so. So that's what the beach teaches me. It teaches me endurance and it teaches me sort of an ongoing struggle and just put one foot in front of the other, metaphorically or in actuality. And there's a certain sameness about the beach that should be like us. Every day we should be Christians. Every day we should love our neighbor, love our enemy. We should do our frustrations. We should struggle and just like yesterday regardless of if there's problems today if there's great problems or not we should be like the sea we should just keep coming into the shore just keep coming into the shore it's hard to do that isn't it and it's especially hard to keep your concentration when these stupid trash trucks have their lights on super bright but that's life sometimes you can pray with attention and sometimes you can pray near a trash truck. God bless you. I hope that you keep struggling to live the Christian life just as the sea continues to come into the shore. Amen.